when the waves calm down, the world is about to reboot. This is China's Ports. China's economy is ranked number two in the world after the United States. But China has been the world's biggest exporter of goods since 2009. And by 2028, China will overtake the United States to become the world's biggest economy. Five years earlier than previously estimated due to the contracting recoveries of the two countries from the world pandemic. China is the world's largest manufacturer in terms of output and has gained a reputation as the world's factory. China has since become a world leader in manufacturing of steel, car parts, chemicals, electronics, and robotics. So there is no surprise that eight out of the busiest container ports in the world are in China. The country's coastline is dotted with numerous harbors and small ports that deal in trade, fishing, and containerized goods. Shipping is responsible for 90% of the world trade. And topping the export list were mobiles with over $12 billion worth. Computers, $9 billion. Integrated circuits, another $5 billion. Other clothing articles were over $4 billion. With the start of the pandemic, demand for Chinese-made personal protective gear and work-from-home devices surged. Now that is a lot of electronics. The Shanghai port, are you ready for it? Is considered the world's fastest growing economy. The port of Shanghai is the busiest port in the world in terms of cargo tonnage. It's staggering to think that when the port first started operations 40 some years ago, it had a handling capacity of less than 8,000 TEUs. Container traffic in 2019 was 43.4 million TEU. This can be compared to the busiest container port in the United States, Los Angeles, where 9.3 million TEUs were transported through 2019. You may ask, what is a TEU? Well, it's a 20-foot equivalent unit, or an FEU is a 40-foot equivalent unit cars. China remains the world's largest automotive manufacturing country and automotive market since 2009. In 2018, annual vehicle production in China accounted for over 30% of worldwide vehicle production, which exceeds that of the European Union or that of the United States and Japan combined. In 2019, approximately 21.36 million passenger cars and 4.36 million commercial vehicles had been produced in China. Goods like cars and other products are transported to the port. The combination of rail, road and port surfaces, as well as the use of modern containers, offer many advantages. However, rail cargo demand in itself is being driven by sky-high air freight rates, which most of the long-haul passenger fleet is still grounded. China Railway Express, the operator of the international network, reported running more than 3,000 freight trains between China and Europe in the first nine months of 2020, an 80% increase over the same period in 2019. About half of Chinese exports by value in 2019 were delivered to fellow Asian countries, while 20% were sold to North American importers. China shipped equally as much to clients in Europe. So you may ask, what are China's top imports? Well, they are mostly commodity imports like crude petroleum, 200 billion, iron ore, 60 billion, petroleum gas, 44 billion, gold, 37 billion, and soybeans at $34 billion. So what are these little boats we see guiding these giant ships? These are the underestimated escort tugs, which provide immediate assistance to giant container vessels and are an essential part of port operations. Without it, a mega ship simply cannot get into the port. And with ships growing larger and larger in history, the task is more difficult than ever. The shipbuilding industry of China is also very strong, and it is the world's largest shipbuilding nation, having overtaken South Korea. Growing competitive forces affecting ports emphasize the needs for greater performance levels that extend beyond criteria such as optimization of operations, cost reduction, time efficiency, and trade promotion. More and more, ports are expected to improve performance in other areas, security, safety, resource conservation, environmental protection. With the implementation of 5G into the cargo industry, asset tracking is finally made easy. With so many companies doing trade around the world, 
it gives them the ability to know where their assets are at any given time with this technology. Now more than ever, China's 5G investment is about to pay off.